real partnerships are, I think are vital, if, particularly for students, if they want to get excited about something that is, is real to them. Um, my experience with community-based research partnerships, um, community campus partnerships that use community-based research is students feel connected, um, they feel a sense of belonging, and um, they meet real people, and they feel less alienated, and they get out of the classroom. My advice for students doing community-based research is to listen, to think about what it means to have really good listening skills, but it also requires that the students um, are good initiators of conversation. So it's a very interesting combination of being able to talk and being able to listen. Um, my other advice for students who want to be doing community-based research is um, that they, they need personal skills that make them attractive or engaging to their audience, their intended audience. So I think those skills include being friendly, warm, poised, and focused. The advice I'd give a student doing a community-based project is plan it out from the beginning and uh, try and stick with your timelines. Uh, community organizations often need some lead time to review uh, a draft report. They can't turn it around in the last minute. So uh, it takes some time to plan it in advance. And one of the things to make sure you plan in is some kind of debriefing with the community organization uh, before your final report is due so that you can get their feedback and then incorporate it into the final product that you give your prof and that you give the organization. So I guess uh, one of the first things is um, to manage your expectations and uh, I guess one of the most important things as students is that you know you kind of go into it thinking that you're going to change the world or that you know your idea is going to be the best idea that the communities are automatically going to be really drawn to and really excited and passionate about and that's not always the case. So uh, the number one thing I would say is um, listen first and then uh, take what you learn, reflect on it, um, you know, kind of uh, muddle about it in your, in your brain, in your mind, and, and identify how you can and help or provide support, and then go back to the community with your ideas and work with them towards a solution. One of the practices that I would uh, use when I do community-based research is to work with groups that I have a relationship with already. I really think that working in community-based research means not just the research itself, but actually thinking about before the research starts and after the research is completed. So a lot of the groups I work with are groups that I have worked with before, I have some kind of relationship with, and we're able to develop a project together, but also knowing that when the research ends, we can think about moving on to the next project or how to use the information that we discovered through the research.